What's up guys? I'm here at my track and uh, today I'm going to take you guys through a workout that I do on Fridays. Yeah, this is what a 430 miler does on for Friday primary workouts. So I just finished my two mile warm up and uh, every single day we have a two mile warm up no matter if it's an easy day or a hard day and we cool down with two miles. My heart rate was a little high to start it but it kind of went back down to normal so we'll see how this workout goes. The workout for today is two 500s at 123 pace, which is about 423 uh, mile pace. And then after that is a cool down. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Two 500s, let's get ready to go. I'll take you guys through my warm up too, but I don't have a tripod, so this is kind of the only way that I can do it right now. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda lost my count on those monster walks, but we're good. Okay, so we just finished the walking stretches and now it's time to do the actual part of the workout. Also, those of you who were wondering what kind of shoes I'm wearing for this, these are what I did my two mile loop with. And these are some Hoka Mach 5 trainers that I'm gonna use for my workout. I'm not gonna lie either, I feel like Hoka's pretty well known for making really good and heavy like trail running shoes, but uh, every now and then, Dude, they make some really good speedy shoes out here. And these Hoko Mach 5s are, are no joke, man. These these, uh, these get me through tough workouts, I'll tell you that. So unfortunately, there's not really going to be a good way for me to record the entire 500 meters of uh, me running. But uh, you guys will get to see my finish. So, Plus, it's only two 500s, so I don't think it really matters that much. If it was like eight 500s, then I think that would be a little bit different. But you guys will get to see the finish of my 500s, so... All right, there we go. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot windier than I initially thought it was. Um, when I was on my warm up, I felt a little bit of a breeze, but that was that was a little bit more than just a breeze. I slowed down to like 450 pace, like 200 meters in, and I was like, shoot, like I'm behind pace a little bit. And uh, I hit my time, I got 122 something. I got 122.9, the time to hit is 123. So, you know, you, for these workouts, you don't want to be too fast because it might mess up another primary workout in the future and you don't want to be too slow. So, 122.9, almost perfect, man. Can't get much better than that. Another thing I should note too is that in between these reps, I get three minutes of rest and uh, I forgot to start my timer on this one. So, I'm at a minute and uh, I'm just gonna assume that I have another minute left. And also I got campus security watching me, so you know, that's, that's always cool when you're running at your local track. Okay, gotta set the camera up and go back to the start line.
122.80. Oh my God. I'll show you guys on the screen there and on my watch. First one was like 122.9. This one's like 122.8. So, you know, pretty good. Okay, I got two good news. One is that that stupid campus security guy left. I don't know if you can see it over there, but he was, he was over there somewhere and now he left. Um, two is that I'm done. And now I just need to switch from my hokas and put on the brooks. And then uh, and then we get to cool down. So love to see it, man. So I'm taking you guys with me on the cool down this time since I didn't take you guys with me on the warm up. And uh, we're going about 10 minute pace right now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, we're going about 10 minute pace right now. And uh, yeah, you know, just two easy mouths. Um, the thing about our warm ups and cool downs is two miles might seem like a lot, but it's really not, you know? Uh, some days it feels like it takes forever. Cause I mean, to be fair, you are running for like 20 minutes, just warming up and cooling down. So that's 40 minutes each day of warming up and cooling down, which might seem like a lot, but you know, I think, I think it really helps. And another thing too, is it probably sounds like I'm breathing really heavily, but I was going to say I wasn't, but my heart rate's actually 155 right now. But usually it's like 120 to 130 on the warm ups and cool downs. But uh, I don't know if it's because I'm holding my phone up or because I'm talking or what, but heart rate's a little high today. The cool down also feels kind of longer, you know, when you're when you're running by yourself. When I'm running with my teammates, I'm actually like, you know, talking to them and everything. It doesn't feel like the two mile warm up and cool down is that long, you know, but when you're running by yourself, it does feel kind of long. So that's the, that's the downside of running by yourself. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, the wind is really bad today. Um, I don't know how much that actually played. Oh, Jesus Christ, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel went across the freaking road here. But um, yeah, it's really windy today. I don't know how much that played a part in my workout. If that really slowed me down or what. It kind of felt like it slowed me down on the front stretch when I was when I was finishing my lap coming to the finish line in the camera, but yeah, no, the wind is pretty brutal today, so I'm sorry if that plays a big part in the video, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Nevertheless, I'm only a mile into my cool down, dude. Not even three quarters of a mile, but good news is uh, my heart rate finally chilled out though. Also, my hair is doing really weird things right now. It's probably because of the wind, but still, I don't like it, man. Just hit my mile marker. Only a mile in. Only a half mile to go. Remember when I said that the two mile cool down and the two mile warm up is not that long? Yeah, these are the days where it feels long. It's when you're by yourself and you have no one to talk to. Okay, now I just finished my two mile cool down. And uh, now I'm pretty much done for the rest of the. Uh, God damn it. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm pretty much done running for the rest of the day. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm pretty much done running for the rest of the day, except the fact that uh, there's this Strava segment like uh, uh, three tenths of a mile away from my house. And. Uh, that I, it's about a th three quarter of a mile loop, so 0.75 loop, and um, I want to go. I want to go beat that today. Um, the re the record holder I think is like 440 mi mile pace, and I, I think that I can beat that. So, so uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna close off with that today in terms of running, and then after that I'm gonna go to the gym. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a different kind of video and I, uh, maybe, it was a, maybe it'll be something I do in the future again. Um, maybe I'll take you guys through like a Wednesday workout or something. Can't really take you through Mondays cause that's long tempo and you know, I can't just hold my phone in front of me and talk to you guys for a couple minutes when I'm running 5.30 pace and you know, it's a long run. But, um, 
yeah, no, if you guys want me to do this for like a Wednesday workout or something, let me know. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Peace.